Hello and welcome to Ginny's Horse Product Review. I'm Ginny and today I have a tack haul for you guys. I'm really excited. I haven't had a tack haul in like literally forever. And today's tack haul comes from Dover, Amazon and a few things I got off Marketplace. I just kind of went on like a little bit of a shopping spree. I've got Mule Pancake now. I'm dialing in tack. I'm trying to figure out what fits, what she likes. And I really have kind of like a princess and a pea scenario with her and finding the right fits and saddles and saddle pads and everything. So if you're following my journey, you already know I've been trying on some saddles and going through some bits and just trying to find out what works. So I'm gonna show you what I got in my tack haul right now. Okay, so the first thing I got, is, and this is from Dover, is a um, really nice pad by Rambo. And I don't have a black saddle pad. I really love the details and the colors here. It's got the red and yellow right here, which I absolutely love. I just think it looks super sharp. It's quilted and it's like, I wouldn't say like non-stick, but it's definitely got like a little bit of grip, um, like fabric grip, not like a rubbery grip, but it's, it's got a little bit of a grip, which I think is good because I did have with my Thoroughgood saddle like a little bit of scooching forward on Mule Pancakes. So I do like this pad. I think it's gonna be a little bit of grippy. It's definitely substantial. It's not like a little thin baby pad. And I think it was like 70 bucks, but it was on sale for like 30 or $35. So I was like, you know what? I really need a cute black saddle pad. I'm gonna go for it. So I got it really high quality. Um, like you'd expect from Rambo, and I'm super excited. I really like it. I think this is a really nice pad. I cannot wait to try it on. Mule Pancake. The next thing that I got is a, um, this is an egg butt snaffle bit, and it's got a bit of a curved mouthpiece, and I'm just really going, and this is just by Shires, because it's kind of like a big, basic stainless steel bit. I've been trying to find the right bit for Mule Pancake, and it is tough. She is like a hardcore bit chomper, and she's like pulling the bit all the way into her mouth and she, it's just hard to try to find the bit that she likes and I want to just try a bunch of different mouth pieces and see what's most comfortable for her also she has a small mouth so it's not like a bunch of my like bigger bits are gonna work for her so all the bits that's what we're doing I got this one we're gonna see how it works for her and see if she likes it the other thing I got which I already took a peek at and I'm already super disappointed in is this bridle and I think it's I think it's called a Suffolk okay Dover debut single crown um classic dressage bridle I, I think the, the slip said Suffolk and now I don't remember but I'll find out exactly which model it is and put it in the description so I can tell you not to buy it so I got this on sale for $90, but like ordinarily they're charging like, I don't know, $130 or $140 for it. And I thought Mule Pancake's got, you know, she's got long ears. She's already very picky about the tack. I thought like this padded monocrown would be like a real step up for her and be just really comfortable on her. But let me tell you something about this bridle. Just looking at it is total garbage. Like the leather is like, it looks like cracked plastic. Let me find, I mean, just look at, look at this. This is the back. I don't know if you can see this, but like, I don't even know that this is going to accept oil. Like, just look at this, this cheek piece here. Like, look at this. I mean, and I don't know, you know, it's not a really high end bridal, but I think if you're spending almost a hundred dollars, you should at least like not get leather that looks like cracked plastic about to break so i'm super disappointed in this and i will be sending it back asap look at look at this look at this cheek piece i mean can you believe can you believe this i don't know if it's really coming through on the video but this is like total total garbage hundred dollars it's going back and it did come with um web drains here and the whole thing's going back i am <laughs> i would not put this on an animal and i am not going to spend almost a hundred dollars on it sending it back not happy with this one the next thing that i got also from dover which i'm super excited about are a new pair of paddock boots and these are these are the Heritage 4 paddock boots, and this is actually gonna be my second pair of these, and my last pair I've been wearing for I think like three or four years. 
I've gotten a ton of mileage out of, and I just really like these padded boots. So this is it. They're super comfortable. I got them in brown, and I like that they're kind of like the old school toe. I don't like the super rounded toe, and I just really like that they're old school lace padded boots. That's what I like. I have kind of like narrow feet. I don't really wear the um, the zip up paddock boots well. Like my foot will just like slide right out of them. Like they just don't work for me. So if you're into laced paddock boots and you want a pair that's super duper comfortable, I can't recommend the Ariat Heritage 4 enough. Literally, my feet don't get tired. My feet don't hurt. I have very finicky feet. I could wear these like literally all day and I have and will. And like even like do like light hiking in them. Like these boots are... <laughs> These boots are comfort and I think they look sharp. I like that they're brown. Um, I used to only have black boots and then I got my last pair was brown and now I'm like totally digging the brown paddock boots. So these are them and absolutely love them. Super excited because my old pair I have just like totally worn. <laughs> they're, they're not falling apart but they're pretty close. So I'm glad to be replacing those and I got a lot of mileage out of them. Really excited about these boots. All right, so we're getting to the Amazon items of the tag haul. And the next thing up is this fly mask. And I know you're like, but Jenny, it's the end of fly season. Why are you buying a fly mask? Well, because poor Monks is hanging on by like two threads and it's already been repaired. And I feel terrible. I just didn't get her a new one this season. I always get a new one every single season. Like these Lycra fly masks last a season. Like you get a little bit more mileage out of them, but if your horse is wearing them 24 seven, you get a season out of them. And we really stretched it too far on last year's fly mask that she's still wearing it. And there's still gnats, like it's North Carolina. Like we still have bugs. Like we, she's gonna need this for a little bit longer. So this is actually a different brand that I've used. I've used Professionals Choice, like the horse brand. I've used several of these Lycra fly mask brands, but this is a Harrison Howard. It came like this and it's like shrink wrapped in this thing. So I'll open it. Okay, all right. And I got her a really cute pattern because she deserves it. Okay. So this is it. It's kind of like a blue, light blue tie dye with some like light green in there, maybe a little bit of purple. It's the bug eye, which I like. And if you've seen any of my videos about these fly masks, you know that I cut the ears off. I realized that if you leave the ears on, at least for my horses, they can find a tree and rub it off like via the ears. They're like, Ugh, and like can get it off like that. So I'll cut these ears off and we'll take it out and make sure that Monk has it. And also, as you know, like cut a little forelock hole in there for them. So I got this off from Amazon and I'll leave links in the description to like any of these items. Um, so you can go find them on Amazon if you are interested in them. The next item I got from Amazon is kind of like a little bit of a, like a pricier item, at least for what it is. It's the Cavalry Gel Bit Guards. And usually bit guards are like, I don't know, like $5, but these were 20 bucks. And the reason I got them is because they're like been really highly rated. And like I said, I'm going through like trying all these bits on mule pancake. Like literally she is chomping everything I put in her mouth like before I get on her back. And so I just I saw these and I found that they can like downsize a bit a little bit. And that was one of the things that they were rated for. And I have a couple of bits that are really, really nice. I have these nice Myler Comfort Snaffles that I wanna try on mule pancake and see if she likes them, but they're too big for her. And I was like, I don't want to spend like a hundred plus dollars on another bit just to see that she doesn't like it if I can't even try one on. So I got these bit guards, obviously good if you have like a loose ring bit or things like that. But also I'm going to try them with a couple of my Myler Comfort Snaffles to kind of downsize them. Um, as you can see, like there's, you know, they take up a little space here and see if she wants to, you know, if, if that works as far as trying those out. And what I will do is I will do a review on these and let you know how they work because $20 for Big Guard is kind of expensive, but they're actually really cool. They're like really, really stretchy and squishy and kind of fun to squeeze. So I will actually do a review on these when I've tried a couple of bits on with them with Mule Pancake. If she has a bit with shanks, she will literally like pull the shank into her mouth. And I just want to see like what, not only what 
how is this going to help me with downsizing the really nice smilers I have to kind of like try and test and see if she even likes those mouthpieces. But also, is it going to help her with her like messing with the bit and things like that? I don't know. People rave about these things. I'll let you know like real talk if they work or not. So stay tuned for that video. But I'll also leave links in the description to these as well so you can check those out. Now we're on to the items that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And yep, you guessed it, bits. First of all, I got this Happy Mouth and I didn't realize that you have to specify when you're tack shopping or bit shopping. Don't sell me a bit with like a sharp piece on it. This woman sold me this bit. Let me, let me see this. Do you see this? With this sharp, I don't know if you can see this on the, on the camera, but there are at least two parts on here that are going to like cut up my mule's tongue. Like I can't use this <laughs> and I haven't messaged her yet, but I'm like, do you need to specify like, don't, don't sell a bit to somebody that you need to throw in the garbage like inspect it like I don't know if you looked at this or felt this but this is this is sharp I can't use this like I'm not I already have a mule that doesn't like bit in her mouth I, I'm not gonna put this one in and see how it goes like not gonna do it so very disappointed and even though it is used in second hand it's kind of like well you bought it as is like I get that but it's still disappointing like I'm not gonna sell somebody a bit that needs to be thrown away that's gonna hurt a horse's or a mule's tongue like not cool and the other one i got and the last thing in this tack haul is just this egg butt french link bit another one just to try it and see if she likes it i tried another uh double jointed snaffle with her but it had more of like a lozenge kind of like a thicker middle piece and this is more of like more of like a skinnier one like a more of a, like a french link so i'm gonna see if she likes this one and i will keep you guys posted on the the ever the bit search the bit socket for mule pancake and see if we ever find one like i'm like this close to just going hackamore with her i don't want to do like full on like side pull or just halt her just yet i think i need just like a little bit of leverage she's a mule we're still getting to know each other i've had her bolts on the lead line a couple of times and i just just want to have something just in case for now as we're getting to know each other and if you watch my videos you know that I'm not heavy-handed like I'm not I'm not jerking this mule around and being you know bullied all I just want a little something there so I'd like us to find a bit that could work that she's comfortable with and of course she's she's had regular dentals the past couple of years she'll be getting checked again at fall vaccines things like that so we are definitely making sure that we're you know checking everything we need to check I think she's I honestly think that she's like been yanked around and yahooed and she just has like some anxiety about bits, but I'd really like her <laughs> to find one that she's comfortable with so that we can really, you know, get cooking on our riding and stuff like that. So that was the tack haul. Again, I will leave links in the description to the things that I found. You can go find those on Amazon. As you know, I'm sending the bridle back because it's total garbage and I don't recommend it at all. I would also let you know exactly what that one is down in the description so you can steer clear. And I'm just really glad that you guys joined me, joined me for this tack haul. Stay tuned for more videos I've been posting on uh, either Tuesdays and Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays. Let me know in the comments what you like to see, what, what kind of content you want more of. Do you want more tack reviews? I'm definitely gonna review some of these things once I get, you know, start using them a bit and let you guys know how they went. Stay tuned on Tuesdays. I usually post mule pancake videos and keep up to date with our latest in our journey and getting to know each other and things like that. And I just hope you guys are having a fantastic week. And until next time, happy trails.